So how we're going to export LMB cache along with these shaders. So first uh, we need to go to this Windows and uh, we have this general editor and content browser. And in this content browser we can go for this vehicles and this car vehicle. Double click on it and close this. Go to Windows we have this outliner we have this one and scroll down you can see we have some we have this car here. Now in this case, I'm going to go for this plugin manager and type VR. And now I can click here. Now click on auto loads and refresh and close. And uh, note that this is not for only V-Ray. Uh, this is a universal approach. Uh, so you can use any kind of renderer, no problem with this. Now see that uh, if I select it and click here and I can take red color here and select it, click here. I can take yellow color here. All right. So now select it. Go for this cache, LMB cache, export cache, and current frame. And I would like to save each and every options right here. And now go for this desktop. And here I can type this name, ABC and LMB export. And what will happen if I import this one, import it, and here, Alembic import. And you can see we have got this, but we don't have the shaders assigned to it. So this is a problem uh, we're having. So how to deal with this kind of situation? A very easy fix I have found that if I select it and right click and, you know, combine this, and you can separate it right here and he'll delete the histories and select it and we can export the selection and if i import this cache once again and i can see we have this car here and we have the shaders assigned to it so this is how very very easily you can you know embed the shaders in the, inside this lmb cache now how it works and now i can show you that if i take a new one new scene and click here and put it uh, different color select it and put a different color and if i import this lmb cache once again now you can see that we are getting that same thing automatically assigned in it so this is a very nice thing so how it is happening so now the thing is that whenever we are going to export your LMB cache, you should see that you have the shading group exported or not. So now if I select it, uh, select this one and click here. And if I select it and select everything, every one of them. So select and click here. Now, if I change this to any color, doesn't matter. Now see, and if I, you know, export this, export this selection, and here, and new, and import it, and now what will happen, you can see, it is not coming, because of, if I go for the shading group, we don't have any shading group. So that means is what, that if I select it and select the faces and click here and select maybe green color and select everything and select the faces and put red color in it. Now what I have done, I have selected everything and put the selected everything in the way uh, the face selection is a very important thing so I can combine them and select every faces and put that shader all right so the face selection is extremely important you have to select the faces and then if I export it is export this one and if i import it i can see it will come automatically 
you can see we don't have any shaders there's no problem but we do have the shading group now the shading group is exported this is what we want right so if you if you you know select the faces and export your alambic alambic is going to be exporting your shading group also but why this is not coming because you can see this shading group is associated with this lambert why because of this shading group is asking for the same name to be connected so it is not finding that same name that is why it is not getting connected all right so that is why it is connected with the lambert default shader so if i do the same thing just click here now we have this one the red and click here we can have like blue now you can see we do have the same name along with you can see we have same name along with the shaders associated with it now if i import this now what will happen is happening in a proper way why because now you can see uh, the shading group is merged now it is merged with this one and this is connected with this so that is why it is getting that same color inside this alembic right because of the same naming thing is there so two method we have here another one way is to select the faces and assign otherwise you can select and click and select and click and then combine them and separate them then also this will work all right so this is a way that you can export your alembic cache with shaders another thing that suppose um, you have shaders suppose we have this shader that is uh, red and we have this shader that is like blue all right the name is same the naming thing is same you can see we have the naming thing is same all right now you need to save only or export only these uh, materials right so what i can do select it all right and export it here from here export uh, selected network and also you can make this happen by using file and export also no problem in this so i can export this and type here mtl for material type of thing and now i can import this material import and here from here you can import this material or else you can import material from here so now you can see we have got these materials and we can import the cache import this cache now you can see it is not working why it is not working it has two reason for that so first of all we see that this is mtl it is if i select both of them and click here now you can see the first thing is mtl uh, prefix all right mtl prefix means is what that uh, the naming is not matching with this thing so this is a naming namespace problem so how to de delete this thing so if i go to this import and import this one this material whenever you, are, you import any kind of anything anything you are importing don't use this option so use this merge option and import it then what will happen if i go for this uh you can see now we don't have any kind of that prefix problem all right another way that this is like namespace issue a common issue if i import it and if i forget any kind of time i can forget for you know a big project i can forget any time any point of time and you can see we have that mtl that the name is coming so you can go for this uh, general and namespace editor select this delete and merge with root and now this will you know fix the problem okay the one problem is namespace name has to be matched properly another problem if i select it and if i click here you can see there is no shading group right here you can see no shading group so that means is what when i have saved it uh, exported it from here but there is no shading group right here all right so that means is what the way we have saved the materials that was wrong all right so that means is what 
uh, right now I'm showing you the proper method of well, you know showing uh, saving the materials all right so if I take this one and now select uh, this red color and if I select this one and take blue color indeed we do have materials but you cannot select both of them and export it you have to select the shading group and then export it if you do so automatically this material is also going to be uh, exported but if I export this one this shading group is not going to be exported so select it and export it material yes and now if I make a new one if I import it you can see and if I go now you can see we do have the shaders along with the VRAM material S, well, SG node all right so now this SG node is exist in here right and this SG node is associated with this blue color and this SG node is associated with this uh, red color right so whenever you are importing this LMB cache in that LMB cache also a shading group was there that name was exactly same so when you are going to import that MB, uh, LMB cache in here so that shading group and this shading group both of them is going to be merged why this is going to be merged because of the naming is same so now let me show you if I import this now you can see in that LMB cache we have that same shading group all right import it now you can see we're getting the proper result why we're getting the proper result because of now you can see this one you cannot see it is happening behind the scenes but this LMB cache uh, has a similar name of that uh, shading group and now this shading group is also associated with this this red color so it is merging with both of them so that is why you are getting this color and uh, this is a very nice workflow now to prove this if I go and I don't have any kind of uh, shaders in here now if I import this only this alambic now you can see it we don't have any kind of uh, color we do have gray color but we still have the shading group you can see we have shading group but that this shading group is now linked with this Lambert that is a by default shader because of it has no corresponding uh, shading group so if I import this LMB cache and I can see this LMB cache is this, you know automatically the shaders means the shading group is merged now and it is automatically associated with this so it is all about the shading group right if you have the same shading group name and in the alembic also the same shading group name so it is going to be merged with each other and now then only you can see the proper result is happening in here so this is how you can very very easily uh you know export your alembic cache along with your shaders two ways to do it like combine it and separate it and another way to select these faces and assign this so this is how you can export LMB cache along with these shaders hope you have liked it thanks, thanks a lot for watching